All right, Lexi, we're going to watch your breaststroke video. Lexi, as we're watching the video, make sure you take some time to go check out the notes we have in the email as well. Different things we see that you're doing really well, things we see you can work on and improve on. Uh, so if you don't always have time to check out the videos, you can know, before practice, after practice, or even before or after race, you can always kind of refer to the notes and just see what it is we're working on and what it is we want you to keep working on. Okay. So let's go ahead and begin the video over and uh, we'll take it from there. All right. So the very first thing is we start that stroke here. You can see that you start to press those hands out to the side, which is excellent. We always want to make sure when we're doing our breaststroke pulls that we've got thumbs down, pinkies up, and we're really pressing out as best we can. So that looks really, really good. It's a great early catch. You start to get those hands underneath your shoulders, your head's above the water. You're taking that breath. The other thing really liked it, look, you just kind of let your head kind of come up nice and easily. And absolutely love that. Make sure you don't lift your chin or drop your chin when you're breathing. It's always good just to lift those hands up. As you shoot your hands forward, press your hands forward, you can see they kind of come up a little bit and then they go down. The problem with going down is you're going in this direction here. We want you shooting forward. So make sure you work on keeping your hands right near the surface, but push forward. Don't let them drop down. As you finish your kick, you can see right here so that your hips are here, your upper body is here, and then your hands are here. So you're not really in a good streamlined body line position. And part of that is because you push your hands down, they're going to have to come back up. So we've got to make sure if we just keep your hands moving forward, we're not going to be going to that up and down motion. We definitely don't want to be there. We want to make sure that body line is a little bit more streamlined. Good job of waiting to finish that kick till you start that next till you start the next pull. A lot of times we see people rushing through their kick and getting into the next pull too early. You did a great job of finishing that kick. And again, well done on breathing early. Head position is exactly right. Eyes right here are down. You've got a nice long extension in your upper body. Fantastic job there, Lexi. Again, your feet just finished and you're just getting ready to get into that pull, which is perfect. We always want to see that kick getting finished. So well done. All right, so as we get right here, you can see you've got a still a little bit high hips. Okay, so you're not completely out of a good body line, but we do want to have those hips down a little bit more and get your so get your legs up and keep your hands up, and then we're going to be a lot tighter streamline, a lot better body line in the water. So just get up just a little bit more. Okay, lower your hips, feet up. Great job of finishing that kick. If we go into your turn here. Love how you start to cross those feet over. Get that right foot in a little bit closer. But we love how you're kind of stacking those feet on top of each other. That's excellent. It's one of those things we always want people to be doing. We try to get people to do, but most of them, they don't always do it. So that's great. The other thing is really great job of transition from one direction to the other. This hand is already off the wall. This hand is underwater and your feet are just about to hit the wall, which really helps transition from one direction to the other very, very quickly. So excellent. As we push off that wall, we can see that streamline is perfect. Your arms are right behind your ears. Your hands are stacked one on top of the other. I'd like to see those legs a little bit more together, but the streamlined upper body part looks incredible. All right, so we talked about this on the butterfly one a little bit. And so let's kind of go back and see. So we streamline right here, right? So here's where our hand is. And as we do that butterfly kick, hand goes up here and then back down here, right? So we don't want to do so much upper body movement with that kick. Head position looks good here, but you can see even this is just too deep. So it's too deep of a kick. You want to make a good snap. Use your hips and use your knees a little bit, but we don't want to throw the you don't want to throw your hips and your feet quite as deep as we see here. As we finish that kick here, you do a good job. 
you do a good job of keeping that streamline and holding that for about two seconds. That's excellent. Pull looks great. Although your hands are pointed in, remember you're pushing the water all the way down. So when you're kind of cutting through this way, you're, you're losing part of that pull. So your pull looked great in the beginning, but then towards the end, don't let those hands go that way. Make sure they're pushing towards that, towards your thighs. Good job of getting your hands on your thighs. This is a great body line. Eyes are down. Body line is straight. That's excellent, Lexi. Nice job of sliding your hands up your body, starting at your belly button. That looks good. Good job of finishing your kick. Uh, it looked like your hands may have been a little bit above the water. If we could start that pull just a shade earlier, you're going to be perfect. But Lexi, great job. 